Today I'm going to show you what's inside of an automatic transmission shifter and how it works. Now the function of an automatic transmission shifter is to allow the driver to safely shift gears using this lockout here to ensure that it doesn't go into the wrong gear protecting the transmission. Now we've also got this park lockout function which will lock the shifter into park position so it doesn't accidentally roll away. Now this is an electronically controlled unit so we've got a shift control ECU over here. We've got the wires that go out to the brake light switch as well as the key ignition switch and then we've got this cable that goes over to the transmission to change direction. So under the hood you can see the cable where it comes from the firewall and it connects to the transmission. Here on the front of the transmission we've got the park neutral switch as well as the lever where the cable attaches to. Now inside of here there is an electronic solenoid that will unlock the shifter from the park position. In my case I don't have a battery connected so I can use the shift lock override to take it out of the park position. The first thing I'm going to do is disconnect the shift cable. I'm just going to squeeze these tabs here and push the cable out. So to remove the shifter from the floor I'm going to remove four 12 millimeter bolts and then now I can lift the shifter base off of the floor. So here's a closer look at how this shift linkage works. We've got the lever here which pivots at the bottom and it's connected to this plate which is connected to this rod. And the rod will move in and out according to what gear it is which connects to the cable leading to the transmission. Now I'm just going to remove the rod. But and now we can remove the shifter assembly from the vehicle. So with the shifter removed from the transmission we can see we've got the shift button over here, an overdrive button. Of course your shift lever and then your position indicator housing over here. Down at the bottom here we've got the shift lever plate followed by the shift lock unit over here. I'm going to proceed to remove these Phillips screws and that brings the shift indicator plate up. Now since this connector is too big to fit up the shifter head I'm going to have to depin it nicely. And then now I can remove the two Phillips screws on the front of the shifter. And now I can lift off the shifter. Now this is a position indicator. It's basically a little slider inside of here that moves with the shifter. And if I remove the light bar over here you can see we've got the shift lock release button which pushes down on this button over here. Now inside the shift lever button we've got this little spring and what that does is it rides up against this triangle here and as you push it in it'll actually push the triangle down which will push the rod down to release the mechanism on the inside. Now looking at the shifter assembly there's actually two different interlock mechanisms that are at work here. Now the first mechanism will prevent the shifter from moving out of the park position where it could roll and hit someone and that means that the brake has to be depressed, the key has to be in the ignition as well as the shift lever has to be depressed before the shifter can move out of its position. Now the second mechanism prevents the transmission from being bumped into the wrong gear accidentally without the lever being pressed down. So that would prevent the vehicle from accidentally being pushed into reverse when the car was going forward. So if we take a closer look here you'll see that I can't move the shift lever into the park position without first pressing the shift button. Once I press that the pin gets depressed, it goes into the park position and then when I release it this black tab here pops up and that locks it into the park position. Now inside of this ECU there's a solenoid that controls the movement of this black tab. Only when the conditions are being met, such as the brake being depressed or the key being the ignition, can I press down the shift lever and then get it out of the park position. Now this button here is actually a shift lock release button. When I depress it here, in case the battery dies, I can shift it out of park. Now I'm going to remove these two screws that hold the shift lock control unit to the base. So here is the shift lock ECU. You can see this black tab here is currently locked. It won't go down any further until I press the button here to release it. Then it will go down all the way. And then I'll pop it back up and it becomes locked again. I'm going to pop off the circuit board here. Now I'm going to remove the circuit board. So with the circuit board opened up here you can see that this black slider moves up and down. That goes to the mechanism inside of the solenoid here. The button also goes directly into the solenoid. Now the black tab has a little hook here that will hook onto this slider switch here to tell the computer what position the shift lock release tab is at. Now this switch here is actually a three way switch. It will tell if it's in the lock position, the unlock position, or the shifted position in the middle. Now I'm going to pop off the relay cover here and then now I can pull out the solenoid that's inside from the housing. This is the shift release solenoid removed from the circuit board. Now inside of the housing this solenoid is allowed to move back and forth a tiny bit. So you can see when I press down the black tab here that it locks halfway and it doesn't allow the shifter to move out of park. Now when that solenoid will energize this little plunger will kick out this way which will cause the relay to move that way and then the black tab can move down all the way allowing the shifter to move out of park. Similarly the override which is the button up at the top here will move the relay over allowing the black tab to go all the way down so you can shift. Now sometimes when you have trouble shifting out of park it could be that this solenoid is busted. Now if you look at the remaining part of the shifter here the mechanism that protects the transmission is purely a mechanical mechanism. 
So we've got the shift lever here with the detent rod. Then over here we've got the spring plate that has grooves that position the lever in the exact gear that you're going to be in. And then we've got the control shaft which is the main pin that runs through the bottom where the lever pivots on. Now I'm just going to use a screwdriver to remove the control shaft. I'm going to unscrew the spring plate and now I can remove the shift lever from the base. Then at the bottom here we have the groove pin that's spring loaded. Now if I remove the groove pin here and then I can release the spring from the shift lever. Now this groove pin is actually the key to how this whole shift lock mechanism works. On one side it engages with this black piece that will engage the shift lock mechanism and lock you into park. Now on the other side of it, it'll engage this teeth profile over here. Now if you look closely, you'll notice that the profile of these teeth here are what determine if you need to hit the shift button on the lever or not when shifting from gear to gear. So now for example, let's say I'm in the drive gear here and I need to downshift a second in order to pass a slow Corolla. Well I'm going to need to hit the shift lever button so that I can bring this groove pin down and then I can go across into second over here. Now from drive I don't need to hit the button to coast into neutral. Finally to get into reverse I'm going to have to hit the shift button again and then once more to get into park. And this is all of the components that go into making a transmission shifter. Part mechanical and part electronic. It's really quite a complicated system in order to prevent accidental shifts to keep you and the transmission safe. Automatic transmissions are for dummies. You see stick shifts? They put all the trust in the driver.